Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. Please hit the subscribe button. It's really important and I'll very much appreciate it. Tonight I'm going to be doing just a plastic layover, some paint color. I'm hoping it to be a flower, but it's abstract and you never know what's going to happen. So we're going to give it a try though. I got white acrylic on my canvas. It's 11 by 14. I'm just going to give it a quick torch to get some of the bubbles out. Not too many in there though. That's pretty good. Okay. Then I'm going to use just my cup to put a couple of colors in and pour it down. Then a little bit of green for some leaf action. Then I'm going to put the plastic down and hope for the best. Okay, so I'm going to start with chrome orange. It's a new color I just mixed up. So I can get the cap off. That's going to be my first color. Then I have fire red, which I don't usually do red very often. I totally took the cap right off my bottle there. Just always keeping it real around here. Hold on one sec while I get that back on there. That would have been a big mess. There we go. So fire red and orange. Red paint everywhere. Try not to make this look like a murder scene. Okay. Then I'm going to add some yellow. And hope it doesn't turn out brownish when it mixes all together on the canvas. Okay, so those are the colors I'm going to start with. And I'm just going to pour them kind of in a circular motion in the center here. Love the red and yellow together. Some of that orange happening. Okay. So then I'm going to do just a couple of drops in the center here of my copper. That should be enough. And I'm going to do a little bit of my burnt umber as well, just to have the center look a little more like a flower would, I'm hoping with the yellows and the reds. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my greens. And I'm just gonna do a couple areas here of my sap green, I think this one is. Yep, sap green. Then I'm going to do my festive green, pretty much right over the same area where I'm this other green. Okay, and then I want a bright green. <coughs> So I'm just going to use the one I made up, which is a little bit of dark green, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white mixed together. Now let's see if that comes out as a flower. What do you think? Should we take bets? <laughs> okay, I'm going to lay my plastic down. And just give it a little squeeze. 
squish down with my hand. Spread the paint a little bit. Okay. Now let's lift it and see what happens. I'm going to do corner to corner this time. Wow, gorgeous. Okay, wipe my hands off because I got paint everywhere. Love that I did the copper in there. Let me give it a torch. Lots of bubbles from the plastic, but that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take my straw and get some of this color. I see color on the edges here that need to get moving and move some of this green out a little bit. That is absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> wow. getting some of the darker spots I see sitting under the white that need to move. Okay, I think I'm going to turn my canvas a little bit here. I love abstract because you can do so much with it. I'm liking that. So I think I'm going to just do a little bit of yellow in there. So the yellow definitely got swallowed up a bit. Maybe two dabs in there and give it a light blow. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Last thing, I'm just going to pull a little bit of white in here and there. Kind of helps to separate the petals a little bit. Certain areas. Helps to define it a little bit. Let's 
one needs to move a bit more. There we go. This is good. No, I think that's defined pretty good. I'll just pick it up quickly. Hopefully don't pour too much off. But there we go. Beautiful flower done in a 10 minute paint pour. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks very much for joining me, everyone.